As this gentleman, Dean Alejandro here, and today I wanna to go ahead and discuss a topic within the transgender community and the YouTube community regarding monetization, censorship, and this is gonna be, of course, based off my personal experience, how it has affected me, and how I have perceived it and seen it with other channels and other vlogs and other content, essentially. I'm focusing specifically on YouTube because YouTube's monetization process has changed a lot, as we know. Um, it's always kind of changing, and if you don't know, there is pretty strict regulations in order to qualify uh, to be monetized and for your channel to be monetized. And it's kind of interesting to me how it is so difficult to accomplish, but it is so quickly to get taken away or censored or whatever else I will go into. I'm going to try not to make this video too, too long, um, but I will go ahead and I will start based off my personal experience. I don't do a lot of um, genitalia type of content. I don't do a lot of reviews or Packer stuff because me personally, I feel like I don't basic I don't like explain the educational portions as well as it should be. And I don't really want to take away uh, for the type of product. I feel like the product should be explained thoroughly and you know really just give that 100% um, authenticity and also value between between the product and those who really use different products all the time. And also, I am married and we like to keep our private stuff private just out of respect for our family. So that's me. I tried to do a couple of different uh, reviews and stuff in the past and I had. But the problem was as soon as I put it up, it got taken down, it got flagged. Um, and it threatened my monetization status. So I was chose, I was really put in a place at that point in time to decide what content I want to go ahead and put forth. That's me personally. Like I said, I don't really edit my content. So I just decided to go ahead and do the shift. Although it kind of really sucked because I did want to do product reviews because everyone's situation is different. And I thought that I could provide a lot of insight for different products. And I had a lot of companies that wanted me to go ahead and put forth that information. Not saying that I'm not going to do it in the future, but I do know that there is a lot more people that have their channels uh, specifically for reviews. So I like to just let them do their thing because I feel like they're professionals at what they do. Um, now, that is my personal perspective. I know a lot of people have seen this. I know a lot of people have seen this and have been watching it. And I honestly don't even know if YouTube is going to flag this video or take it down or threaten my monetization status. So this is kind of a very courageous video for me to post personally, um, but it just needed to be done because I'm not sure if anyone else has really talked about it. And if they have, they have either gotten shadow banned, gotten their account taken down, or lost their monetization status. I think I'm a couple dollars or cents away from my payout. I've been working at it for about five years, so this is really me kind of teetering on the edge with stuff, but it's for the greater good. So... I don't know if any of you have seen um, a channel called Cade Cooks, which is based off uh, this awesome guy named Cade. He does a lot of different content and it's primarily on products, you know, Packer reviews and a lot of educational content as far as sexual stuff, um, sexual health, history, like a lot of very, very good information. I have learned so much on that channel um, and it's really helped me a lot personally. Plus, He's a really cool dude, straight up, great values. Now, I really loved his content, and not loved like past tense, but why am I saying past tense? Because for someone that does a lot of educational uh, content that really helps a lot of us in the community, because let's be realistic, packers aren't cheap, STPs aren't cheap, harnesses, they are not cheap. Doing these reviews is essential for us to know exactly what is going to help us because every single body is different and every single product is different. These are literally life-saving uh, videos and I'm not even like fucking around. Like it is true. This is like really alleviating dysphoria and a lot of other things within the community. I just found out not that long ago when I watched his uh, recent couple recent videos that his content got flagged. 
uh, he lost his monetization status because of the content that he had been doing for a while. And it's under my understanding that his content had also been restricted uh, as far as certain ages and stuff, because there is a lot of settings within, you know, either if you're getting ads or monetization or restrictable content or for ages, like there's a lot of different things that go into it. So it was really surprising to me to see such an educational and important uh, channel within our community that is a good backbone just get ripped because of the censorship within YouTube and the monetization. Come on, we all know that we are all getting censored. We all know what the fuck is really going on within our community, but we still try. We still put these videos out there hoping that someone out there will see it and that it will help someone because that's what we do. Now, the main reason this is extremely, extremely concerning to me, and you may have also seen it, is because Cade's channel is not the only one that does product reviews. There are other extremely, extremely well-known transgender individuals that do product reviews. Yes, there are sponsorship sponsorships involved. Yes, there are other things that are involved. Maybe there's contracts involved. But what does that have to do with YouTube and monetization and censorship? I would think that it would be a conflict of interest between the two, right? So my concern is how is it possible for certain YouTubers to have the same content, the same exact content, but they don't get their monetization taken down or flagged. They don't get their videos flagged. They don't get their, they don't get their channel shut down. Um, they don't get restricted access. How is it fair that there are certain YouTubers that are able to do this and it's accessible for all ages? They're making money off of it 100%. Is it because after a certain threshold of having a certain amount of followers, those rules and regulations go out the window? Is it about money? Is it about YouTube trying to collect all this stuff? Is it about them filling that diversity box and being like, hey, this is the trans person and because they have fucking thousands or millions or I don't even know how many followers, subscribers, whatever, is that okay? This is my problem. So do you know anyone uh, that has gone through this? Like, have you seen any similar content that has been okay, but then also the same exact content that has had their whole channel threatened to be taken down? I really want to know. And this is probably stirring the pot, but if you know any specific YouTubers or transgender influencers or non-binary or what have you, please comment their handle below because I would really like to take a close look as to at, at their content and to see if it is the same content. Why is YouTube basically bullying some of us and threatening us to censor our content? Like, where is the line drawn? How is it fair that just because you have hundreds of thousand followers, you are able to do it and not even do it, show it, show it in thumbnails, show it in teasers, show it in reels, show it in Instagram. I mean, it goes across the platforms. What, what the fuck is going on? So this is a really like huge problem. Like I said, that like I've seen, um, and I didn't really want to talk about it because it doesn't really apply to my personal content but this is important. I might do a follow-up video. If you've noticed any of this, like I said, please comment below. If you have seen Cade or Cade Cooks, please go check out their com content. If you haven't, go check it out still. Either way, go give them some love. Please subscribe if you like this video. For now, I'll see you next time.